Well, hello, and I'm going to today show you how to make butter in approximately 10 minutes. This video is only five minutes because we've cut some of it down. But first of all, we've got some double cream in the mixer. Uh, I've used Jersey double cream because I'm making Jersey butter. Uh, so first of all, we'll get that um, down in the mixer down in the machine. A little bit awkward, obviously. Um, with one hand holding the camera at this point so we get that down in there and we'll give it a turn on we'll start it off nice and slowly what we want to do is build it up a bit we'll build the speed up surely but what you're going to realize we want it up to peaks and uh, once we get up to peaks then we can speed it up a little bit um, and it will start to thicken um, at this point it's best to maybe get a tea cloth or something like that before you turn it up to full whack that's once you get to the peak method which we'll cut to very shortly I think we're gonna fade out of this shot and fade into another shot uh, obviously I'm doing this voiceover at the moment just to make it a little bit different but let's give you an idea there we go we've speeded it up now I took the um, tea towel off I did have covering that for the moment um, but you can start now seeing it starting to separate and build up into the cream uh, thick thick cream now and it'll start around the edges as you'll see uh, starting to separate from um, the cream separating from milk um, into buttermilk and into the butter itself now uh, as I said earlier it's always best at this point to put a tea towel over the top or a cover over the mixer because it does spit out a little bit and I did have a little bit of mistake with that when I forgot and turned it on and got splattered but that didn't catch it on video so you're quite lucky but as you can see now it's really rather separating and you'll be still building up that buttermilk which you can start spitting so what we'll do now is we'll cut to the next shot there we go uh, I've drained out some of the buttermilk um, which um, we've put separately I think I've videoed that and we'll show that in a moment uh, but basically we're just building it up getting it nice getting them you know clearing it all together uh, to make it a little bit easier um, so yeah if you can see there at the bottom there's a lot of liquid building up in the bottom there and it's starting to splatter again time for the tea towel so what there we go what we'll do um, is we'll now take um, this liquid here and we'll transfer it into a bowl and then we'll come back and do a little bit more uh, once we've got rid of the buttermilk out of there which you can use for you know making pancakes it's a healthy option there you go that's what we got that's what came out of that, that's quite healthy to be fair it's buttermilk you know and there we've got a little bit of cheesecloth which is what we're going to wrap the butter in um, very very shortly uh, I'll probably won't show you uh, that bit um, of wrapping it because it's a little bit awkward with one hand but what we'll do now is just give it a final bit of a churn um, and we'll uh, then very shortly probably cut to me sorting some other stuff out so for now let's just have a bit of music while that spins around As you can see now it's starting to form properly and now we have butter and what we want to do now is uh, we're going to as I say we're going to get the cheesecloth and we we will then take the butter out of there and put it into this cheesecloth here wrap it up nice and tight squeeze it out a bit uh, over, over the sink or over a bowl get any residue uh, liquid out of it um, and there we go simple as 10 minutes from start to finish butter um, I think it's um, one of the easy things to do as I say I use Jersey double cream you can use any double cream um, and you'll make fantastic butter I added a little bit of sea salt to that because I like my butter a little bit salty uh, that will go into the fridge now for about all oh, 10 minutes or so uh, just to sort of get it down then I'll take the cheesecloth off it and then just put it in the bowl and um, fresh salted butter which I would say would last about seven days if you if you can cope with lasting for seven days with that but from that point of all thank you very much indeed for watching this video I'm sorry for the ridiculously stupid voiceover um, but I do I try my best I'm trying to get better at that but there you go butter 10 minutes simple as and uh, we'll do another food video at some stage I think might even I want, I want to, I'm want. i going to do some cottage cheese at some stage that's another really easy thing to make cottage cheese all right take care see you soon and uh, bye bye for now